Lucia is a Cook County employee and it's time to enroll in employee benefits. She can access the Cook County Employee Self-Service ESS enrollment system in two ways. From her work computer, Lucia can select the Oracle Step shortcut on her desktop and choose the Employee option. At home, she can use the URL, username, and password in the letter she received in the mail. On the home page, Lucia will see two sections. On the right is the work list and on the left is the navigator section. The work list section displays action items Lucia must complete or action items she has initiated. The navigator section displays the responsibilities assigned to Lucia as a user. In this section, she will click on the CCG Self-Service Employee link. Lucia must first review and update her personal information before she can make or update her benefits sections. To update her personal information, Lucia will click the Personal Information link. She can view her personal information such as Social Security Number, Employee ID, and Department Number. If any information is incorrect or missing, Lucia must contact her Human Resources Department. Next, she will view her address. To update her address, Lucia clicks the Update button to the right of the screen. In this section, Lucia has two options, correct or amend her address or enter a new one. Lucia and her family have recently bought a new home. Therefore, she will enter a new home address. To update, Lucia clicks the Next button in the upper right corner of the screen and types in the new address. From the boxes with the predefined options, Lucia will select the appropriate responses. The boxes with an asterisk are required fields and must be completed. Once Lucia has completed all the boxes, she clicks the Next button and the review page appears. On the review page, Lucia will see the changes she made noted with a blue dot next to them. Lucia will review her dependents. Here she can update, remove, or add dependents. Lucia will add her baby daughter to the personal information page. Lucia clicks Add. She navigates to a page where she will enter the child's name, relationship, and relationship start date, as well as address and phone number, if they are different from Lucia's. Next, she adds the gender, social security number, and date of birth. Once Lucia finishes updating the information, she will click the Submit button in the upper right corner. If she wants to return later to add more information, she will click the Save for Later button. Lucia has finished updating her personal information. She clicks Return to Overview, then Back to return to the home page. Now she is ready to make her benefit selections. In the menu below, Lucia selects Benefits to Update or Change Her Coverage. And on the resulting certification page, clicks Accept and clicks the Next button. In this section, she can review her current dependent information. If the information is correct, Lucia clicks Next. On the Benefits Enrollment page, Lucia reviews her current benefits and confirms they are correct, except for the addition of her new child. She clicks Update Benefits in the upper right corner. Lucia reviews her tier of coverage and selects the appropriate box. Lucia can also scroll down the page and make her flexible spending elections, then clicks Next. Lucia clicks the appropriate cover box to add coverage for her daughter. Then she clicks Next in the upper right corner to advance to the attachment section. Because Lucia is adding her daughter, she must upload her birth certificate. The birth certificate must include Lucia's name. If the child were adopted, she must provide proof of adoption. To upload the birth certificate, Lucia clicks on the Add Attachment button. A pop-up window appears, and Lucia will select the type of attachment she is uploading. Enter the title, then click the Browse button to choose the file from her computer. Once the documents are uploaded, Lucia clicks Apply, 
A confirmation notice lets Lucia know she correctly uploaded the document. Finally, she clicks Publish to Catalog to complete adding her daughter to her coverage. It is essential that Lucia remembers to click Publish to Catalog. If she does not, her dependent will not be added. A confirmation bar appears at the top of the page, indicating that Lucia has successfully published a catalog. Once she has published a catalog, Lucia selects Next, and the confirmation page appears. On this page, a warning box indicates that the changes have been saved and will be reviewed to approve the addition of the dependent. The confirmation statement will list Lucia's elections and the changes she made to her benefits. Some of the benefit elections Lucia made may require the approval of a certificate she has uploaded. For example, the birth certificate of her new child. If so, the confirmation statement says, suspended until reviewed and approved. The word interim will be displayed on the screen. Interim is the current plan in place prior to the change. The suspended plan is the new plan that requires certification and approval. Once the certification is approved, the suspension will be removed and the new plan dependent will be effective. Now she clicks Confirmation Statement to print the confirmation statement. To complete the benefits enrollment process, Lucia closes the printer page and clicks the Finish button. Now the system will return to the benefits page. Lucia has now completed the benefits enrollment process. She has taken the time to ensure her family has the right benefits coverage. For more information or assistance, please contact the Risk Management Department.